dot one six eight dot one dot one zero five there's the IP address of our All Star node. Right, so just thought I'd do a quick video before I pop out. You can see I've got the couple of Bofungs there. Let's just get it a bit more tuned in. So we've got the Bofung AAA S. So I want you to see the LED light. So let's just move this in shot. bit more. There you go. <coughs> okay. So here we are. We are, we're not really at the pyramids, but I thought it'd be an interesting backdrop. So welcome to the channel and please subscribe. I have loads and loads of people watching the videos and hopefully enjoying them. Um, um, but only a small per uh, percentage are, are subscribing, so please subscribe, and then I get some feedback on uh, on what you think about the channel. And I just uh, want to say it, this is my diary. It's not really a teaching channel. It's more my diary. And whilst I'm at it, I sort of say what I've learnt. Um, it's not your classic teaching channel. So in the background, we've got a G7 RPG node, and at the moment. Um, as far as I know, it's not connected to anything. Um, so, I don't think it is anyway. So what we're going to do, we're going to, with the Bofeng on the left, you can't, you can't use that to connect using DTMF uh, because it hasn't got a DTMF pad. And I've tried to preset DTMF memories on it. And it lets me put them in there, but they just go too fast and... They're only allowed five digits, and the problem is, well, I haven't tried the RPG shortcuts, so I, I could try the RPG shortcuts, which is star 55, I think. So that'll be it for a, um, another thing I could try. But for right now, we've got the Bofung. So what we're going to do is just grab the Bofung. We're going to hold the PTT. Oh, we need to turn the other one off. Right. So if you, you know, if you're not connected and you just key, you get a dull tone. So there's an indicator of if if anyone ever says, "Oh, I'm keying, but it doesn't seem to be working. I'm just getting a dull tone," then you know uh, that it's you haven't connected to anything yet. So let's try. Someone told me to try star eighty eight for disconnection. So I'll just quickly try that for out of interest. Put that in, and if we have to reboot, we will. Seconds. It just said seconds. I do it again. Yeah, I'm not getting that it did anything. So let's try star three a a. No, that didn't do anything. So anyway, let's try something different. Star three, four, one, five, two, two. Mm, or maybe it did shut down. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm going to reboot the, the node just by turning the power. The switch, there's a switch at the back. Just flick it up, flick it on, and then I'll... I'll just pause for a second while it, it takes a minute for it to come back with its IP address. IP address. 192.1.68.1.105. Right, okay. So let's try again. So we'll go, we'll hold the PTT and we'll go star three, four, one, five, two, two, and then we'll let go. I've been not very lucky on the old getting onto Hubnet today via DTMF. I tried this earlier.
Ah, okay. Yeah, it's probably just me, just not keying properly. So, let it run for a minute or so while I just look at something. Good morning, David. Good morning, David. Good morning. Uh, he'll be soon up for the, uh, for the medics again, I take it. Um, yeah, you just get used to monovision and then you get the other one, so there we go. Sounding good into the box. I heard you uh, sneak into the East Coast reflector, I think, on the uh, IRLP um, little... So I, t I take it that's working. Can't hold it too long. I really must get it cut, otherwise she who must be obeyed will be thrashing me within an inch of my mortal coil. <laughs> M0 anyway in company G3KFB. Yeah, hi there, Nick. And uh, acknowledge you both doubled out at the beginning, but I'll bring you in a second there, Ken. Um, yeah, I... Uh, or IRLP. Yeah, I've got it going. I got it going the same day I was speaking to you. Uh, that was about one o'clock in the morning then when I finished getting it going. Uh, there's a bit of wiring to do and a bit of soldering. A bit of soldering that's really, I was really struggling to see it, to be quite honest. Uh, but uh, I've got a problem at the moment uh, with the um, uh, audio settings. Uh, they don't seem to save. And so I was messing about and all of a sudden the computer's gone down. I've lost Windows. It's a dual boot system. So I've been the last hour and a half trying to get it working again. Uh, to do with the group group two system on the Linux Linux that I'm running, because uh, obviously it's a dual boot system and uh, the the uh, Windows is secondary only for software for to do with radio and whatever. But anyway, managed to get that back going. So I'm in it right now at the moment, uh, trying to uh, to solve the issue with the um, with the audio. But anyway, it's sounding good by the way on Peter's box on G7 RPGs. Um, uh, a little uh, uh, hope. Sounds very good. Uh, I just want, I had to put, put in the uh, Ken G3UDA because, fully enough, if I turn around right now, I am looking at a X Johnny Stace 46 or 48 element uh, J beam 70 centimeter antenna. I was one of the guys that was helping take his tower down and his aerials down and whatever after his sub demise and uh, was taking whatever we wanted. And I, I, I nicked his. Uh, J beam, seven centre beam, it's fantastic, it is. Still working. Uh, back to you, Ken. G3 UDA M0 anyway. Yep, uh, j just give me, can you give me a break on the name? I didn't quite catch it. Uh, you've got my name. I'm in Shrewsbury. Go ahead. Yeah, probably didn't give it out. The name is Dave, Delta Alpha Victor Echo, Dave. And call sign Mike Zero November Echo Yankee. And I'm in Scunthorpe. I'm just at the bottom of the hill from where Johnny Stace used to live. In fact, I went past his house the other day uh, on a walk. Uh, a very good location for a takeoff of VHF UHF. Uh, back to you, Ken. Okay, I'm just playing around there trying to get the. Um... Pleasure to meet you there. You're on the money. Oh, dear. <laughs> the great call sign, that, doesn't it? Yeah. Trying to get the. Uh, okay. Control panel to show up. As you can see. It's wondering why it's showing. Um, yeah, so anyway, there's the control panel. So if I want to disconnect, I literally just get the control panel and see the way the red one there, disconnect all. Just disconnect that. I'm completely disconnected now. Now, I could go to Ormon. I'm pretty sure there's a link. Oh, Supermon. I always get that wrong. Supermon. You've got Hubnet Monitor there as well. Uh, should we click that see what it does? Oh, that takes you straight. You, now, you can download an app on your phone that shows this, and that's showing all the links coming into Hubnet. Let me just check that you can see that. Yeah, so you can see that. Fine. Just make this a bit wider. There you go. Make it even wider so you can really see it. So download that if you want. All the different links. So, okay, let's go back to the control panel. 
Let's hit back. Now we've got reboot node here if we want. Uh, different links that Peter's put in. Quite a few there. Node status. Let's click that, see what that does. Takes you to the All Star site. So you've got lots of links here. Oh, look, dark mode. What's that? Oh, very cool. Okay, bubble chart. We'll click that. Oh, wow, that's going to show a lot. <laughs> so I was going a bit back, black, but my, my network's a bit laggy. Maybe I shouldn't have clicked that because there's so many connections. It's going to struggle to keep up. So what else? Node status. We've done that. Shutdown node. We've done that. Audio test. That takes you to air. I think that it's four. I think it's four oh eight nine four. So should we do that? Let's do an audio test. H U B N E T connected to M zero F X B. So that will take us straight to the. Uh, to Echo, uh, so I'll just talk into it. You can see there, Mike Zero, Fox X3, Bravo, test. Playback. You can see there, Mike Zero, Fox X3, Bravo, test. Yeah, my audio is sounding good. Now I've done a video on how to change your audio settings if you're not happy with how it sounds. Now let's, the Bofang, now these Bofangs, they're AAAS. This is what's inside the node. Uh, that you can see here in the background, yeah? Um, so, I will uh, call in, and the speaker on this thing is amazing. These are, you can actually get two for £17, <laughs> but they're a tenner each, so here goes. Mic Zero Fox X-Ray Bravo test. Have I even got the thing turned on? Power on. <laughs> two. Did you hear that? It wasn't even on. So, anyway, I'll just turn off the, I'll just turn off the, uh, the bow phone. We don't want any feedback. Mic Zero, Fox Drop, X-Ray, Bravo, test. Playback. Mic Zero, Fox Drop, X-Ray, Bravo, test. Let's just, I'll do it again. Mike Zero Fox X Ray Bravo test. Playback. Mike Zero Fox X Ray Bravo test. So yeah, so this is the both and triple eight. The reason I like it because it's so simple. I can just I can just pick it up. Doesn't matter where it is, where I am. I could be fixing the car, doing the washing up. Um, you know, I don't care if I drop it. Although you know, I I I do try not to drop it. Um, it's, I've got the first two channels programmed in as two of my nodes. Most of us would only have one. So you just put it on num channel number one and you just grab and, gr gab gr sorry, grab and go radio. And I've got a few of these lying around. And it's nice and simple, no mess around. Always perfect audio and a very reliable set. And the battery lasts for quite a while. Um, so uh, let's, let's connect to back to Hubnet. So nice speaking catch you later on, but seven three seven zero one zero anyway. Okay, fine, Dave G three UDA. Yeah. Okay on the uh, the Linux system. Uh, I used Debian on one laptop and uh, Windows ten on another, so I've I've never mixed the both. I know you can. But uh, I do like Linux. It, uh, it, it it's a pretty fast uh, setup. Okay, so just having fun with the node. I've got a couple of nodes here. I'm actually thinking of making another one because I've got all the parts to do it in an acrylic case. So I might do that soon. I've had my um, a my mic my, my let's get it right. I've had uh, another. Another, just get that right, OLED screen come. Go on to this Raspberry Pi. I know it looks funny in 
on these colours. So I'm going to fit that when I get back. Give me something to do. Just notice I haven't got the pins. The pins, you need four pins to fit it. But I've got some spare ones lying around. So catch you later. Uh, 7-3, please subscribe. All the best.